New VED Road Tax, the 2017 UK Car Tax Changes Explained. Check out our ultimate guide on the UK's new car VED tax rules for 2017 you might save a packet. 2017 is now in full swing, which means that the new VED, Vehicle Excise Duty, car tax rules are due to come into force in just a few weeks time. There are big changes coming as part of the new road tax system, including a complete revision of the vehicle tax bans that will affect anyone and everyone buying a new car from April 2017. The biggest question new car buyers face in light of the VED tax changes is this, will you be better off buying a new car before or after the new car tax regime comes into force? Unfortunately, that answer depends on what type of new car you're planning on buying and, most importantly, its CO2 emissions. The new car tax changes were set in motion by George Osborne, former Chancellor of the Exchequer, during the days when David Cameron was Prime Minister. Under the current VED tax scheme, most new car buyers are paying very little, if any, road tax, which is costing the Treasury millions. The new road tax regulations mean that all new cars will face a significant hike in their car tax amount in the first year of registration depending on CO2 emissions, after that it's a flat rate of £140 per year. It's also worth mentioning now that the 2017 car tax changes will not affect your current car, as long as you own it already or it will be registered to you before the April 1st, 2017. Fewer cars to be exempt from VED tax. Unlike the current system, where low emission petrol and diesel cars are tax exempt, the new VED system will only be free for vehicles with no tailpipe emissions, that means electric and hydrogen cars only. That's not all though, as there's a new 5 year supplement to pay for cars costing more than £40,000, which will be priced at £310. The Auto Express consumer team have looked into the new car tax bans, and who stands to lose out the most. We have done calculations for 8 different types of car, from super minis to subs. Buyers of smaller, more economical cars will face the biggest tax hike, in some cases, more than 9 times what they're paying now. Owners of higher polluting cars will still pay more under the new laws but in many cases, not as much more as people buying lower powered cars. It's important to emphasize that these tax changes do not apply retrospectively so only new cars bought after April 2017 will be taxed under the new system. For example, owners of a Peugeot 208 1.2 PureTech currently pay £20 a year, after April 2017 that would rise to £140. As our table, below, shows, potential buyers will see bills increase ninefold over three years. Tax-wise, it will be cheaper to buy a new Peugeot 208 before the VED changes. Yet while first-year fees for a higher polluting car like Honda CRV 2.0 IV TEC SE will go up from £300 to £800 under the new regime, annual tax drops by £70 from the current £210, making the CRV a more attractive nearly new buy after April 2017 than it is now. Across three years of CRV ownership, that works out to a total tax rise of just 50 per center. Highest proportionate increase. CO2 emissions. Current first year rate. New first year rate three years tax current rate. Three years tax new rates. Percent change three year ownership. Peugeot 208 1.2 Pure Tech, 82, Allure. 104 G slash KM. 0 pounds. 140 pounds. 40 pounds. 420 pounds. 950%. Ford C Max 1.5 to C, 120, Zatech. 105 G slash KM. 0 pounds. 140 pounds. 40 pounds. 420 pounds. 950%. Lexus is 300H Hybrid Auto Luxury. 103G slash KM. 0 pounds. 
140 pounds 40 pounds 420 pounds 950 percent VW pass at 1.6 TDIS 105 G slash KM 0 pounds 140 pounds 40 pounds 420 pounds 950 percent Nissan Cash K 1.6 DCI 130 and connector 115 G slash KM 0 pounds 160 pounds 60 pounds 440 pounds 633.3 percent lowest proportionate increase seat alhambra 1.4 tsi 150 150 g slash km 145 pounds 200 pounds 435 pounds 480 pounds 10.3 percent ford mondeo 1.5 ecobus titanium 134 g slash km 130 pounds 200 pounds 390 pounds 480 pounds 23.1 percent jaguar xe 2.0 ir sport auto 179 g slash km 355 pounds 800 pounds 815 pounds 1080 pounds 35.8 percent toyota verso 1.6 vmatic icon 154 g slash km 185 pounds 500 pounds 555 pounds 780 pounds 40.5 percent Honda CRV 2.0 IVTEC SE 4 WD 173 G slash KM 300 pounds 800 pounds 720 pounds 1080 pounds 50 percent According to Philip Nuthard, retail and consumer specialist at Cap HPI, new and pre-registered car sales could spike ahead of next year's VED changes. He told Auto Express, we could experience a big spike in registrations prior to the introduction of the new tax regulations as dealers and consumers pull registrations forward on models where there is a saving, or the opposite depending on the car's current VED band he added, pre-registered vehicles can offer big discounts over new models. More savvy dealers may see the changes as an opportunity to drive sales of these cars. Read on for a more detailed explanation of the road tax changes, why they're taking place, and to see the savings you could be making before the switchover. The truth behind the 2017 road tax ban changes. The current road tax regime is costing the exchequer a packet as car makers have slashed the CO2 emissions of their cars to take advantage of the generous VED tax bans for lower emissions vehicles. In fact, it's reckoned that a quarter of new cars registered don't pay any road tax at all as they fall into VED banda for vehicles with CO2 emissions of less than 100 g/km. At present, new cars have to reach band D 121-130 g/km before any significant annual road tax is charged. With tax revenues set to fall further as cars continue to get cleaner, the chancellor has deemed the situation unsustainable. What are the 2017 road tax changes in detail? Cars registered after April 1st, 2017 will pay a one-off tax charge for the first year, with rates decided by a heavily revised version of the current CO2-based tax ban system. The adjustments mean most buyers will see their first year tax charge virtually doubled, while only zero emissions vehicles will get away with paying nothing at all. From the second year onwards, the CO2 scale becomes irrelevant, as two flat rates will then be applied a zero pounds, zero, VED rate for zero emissions vehicles only, and a flat annual rate of 140 pounds for all other cars. 
while cars costing over £40,000 will also be liable for the £140 VED rate from year 2, they will also be forced to pay an additional annual supplement of £310 for the first five years. That means expensive pound 40k and zero emissions cars will no longer get away with a free ride, as they'll have to pay the £310 supplement. Everything else in the pound 40k and bracket will pay £450 a year, £310 supplement plus £140 flat rate, until that five-year period is over and they revert to the £140 flat rate. What car tax band is your car in? VED tax bands, April 2017 onwards, table. VED car tax bands for cars first registered from 2017 onwards. Emissions, G slash KM of CO2. First year rate. Standard rate. Zero. Zero pounds. Zero pounds. One to fifty. Ten pounds. 140 pounds 51 to 75 25 pounds 76 to 90 100 pounds 91 to 100 120 pounds 101 to 110 140 pounds 111 to 130 160 pounds 131 to 150 200 pounds 151 to 170 500 pounds 171 to 190 800 pounds 191 to 225 1200 pounds 226 to 255 1,700 pounds over 255 2,000 pounds cars above 40,000 pounds pay 310 pounds annual supplement for five years current pre-april 2017 vehicle VED tax bans table VED band CO2 emissions annual rate first year rate a up to 100 g slash km 0 pounds 0 pounds b 101 to 110 g slash km 20 pounds 0 pounds c 111 to 120 g slash km 30 pounds 0 pounds d 121 to 130 g slash km 110 pounds 0 pounds e 131 to 140 g slash km 130 pounds 130 pounds f 141 to 150 g slash km 145 pounds 145 pounds g 151 to 165 g slash km 185 pounds 185 pounds h 166 to 175 g slash km 210 pounds 300 pounds 176 to 185 g slash km 230 pounds 355 pounds j 186 to 200 g slash km 270 pounds 500 pounds k asterisk 201 to 225 g slash km 295 pounds 650 pounds L 226 to 255 G slash km 500 pounds 885 pounds M 
over 255 g slash km 515 pounds 1120 pounds the 2017 road tax changes winners and losers as the rule changes are designed to net the exchequer more cash from popular eco-friendly cars it stands to reason that these are the vehicles the new rules will hit hardest the 2017 changes will mean a car that is CO2 rated at 100 G slash KM or lower and thus free of road tax for life under the current VED band system will cost its owner 400 pounds over 3 years, 680 pounds over 5 years, or a whopping 1380 pounds over 10 years. If you can buy the same car before the April 1st deadline, you'd be mad not to. On the other hand, if you aspire to a reasonably priced sporty model or SUV rated at 226G slash KM of CO2 or above, and if you intend to treasure it for years, you'll be onto a winner. Buying that car after the April 1st deadline could save you almost £600 over 5 years or nearly £2,500 if you keep it for 10 years. That's roughly equivalent to a year's free petrol in a thirsty 20 MPG car, doing 10,000 miles per year. In the over £40,000 bracket, the option is even more clear-cut. Unless your chosen car emits more than 226G slash KM and you intend to keep it for the best part of 10 years, you'll be much worse off buying after April 1st, 2017. An expensive 100G slash KM model that is currently free of VED will, under the new rules, cost £1,020 extra over 3 years, 1920 pounds extra over 3 years and 2930 pounds extra over 10 years as if that wasn't enough bad news in all the worst case scenarios the new rules are likely to adversely affect used car values for post april 1st 2017 registrations too what do 2017 road tax changes mean for cars already registered Current road tax bans won't change for cars that are already registered, so the existing VED bans will remain in place, meaning cars registered before April 2017 will continue to pay the current VED rates even after the new VED bans come into force. Fortunately for owners, the existing rates for CO2 bans are much more favorable to lower polluting vehicles. The current UK road tax rules explained. While the 2017 VED rate shakeup will affect a lot of motorists, the system for collecting and enforcing road tax is not being changed again. The 2014 overhaul of the road tax arrangements ended the tax disc's 93-year reign and has already made the whole system cheaper to run. There is a catch, however, as you'll find out below. The current road tax setup also makes it tougher for those seeking to avoid paying road tax. Rather than the visual check that the tax disc made possible, the authorities now rely on number plate recognition cameras to determine that a vehicle has been taxed. Switch to direct debit, don't risk being caught with no road tax. Although it's no longer a requirement to display a tax disc in your windscreen, this doesn't mean you don't have to pay car. The DVLA will send you a reminder when your road tax is up for renewal in the time-honored fashion, and you can continue to pay your road tax online, over the phone or at the post office. The road tax price bans remain the same, as do the existing options of paying for 12 or 6 months tax upfront but there's also the option of paying your car tax monthly. This new monthly option arrives in tandem with the facility to pay your road tax by direct debit. Drivers paying in monthly installments from their bank accounts will be subject to a 5% surcharge on top of the road tax price itself. That's less than the 10% that's added when you pay for 6 months tax, an option currently used by 23% of motorists. Only the one-off annual payment comes with no extra charges. The key advantage of paying your car tax by direct debit is that the DVLA will continue taking the payments until you tell them to stop. It means that although you'll no longer have an expiry date on the disc stuck to your windscreen, you'll no longer need to remember it anyway. Your tax will be renewed automatically, and you can get on with more exciting stuff, like remembering your MOT. 
What happens to your road tax when you sell your car? Under the new car tax system, any remaining road tax will not transfer to the new owner with the vehicle. Instead, the seller can get a road tax refund on any tax remaining on the vehicle, while the buyer has to pay to retax the car. The tax refund on a sold car will be sent automatically when the dealer receives notification that the car has been sold, scrapped, exported, or taken off the road with a statutory off-road notification, SORN. Sellers are expected to inform the dealer of any change of ownership straight away or face a £1,000 fine. If they don't, they could also still be liable for speeding or parking fines incurred by the new owner. Information on whether or not a car is taxed is available online via the government website. All you need is the make and model of the car plus the registration number. Is there a catch to the vehicle excise duty regime? So far, so good for the new road tax system but as often seems to be the case, there is a catch. The problem that's getting motorists riled centers around the refund you get on outstanding road tax when you sell your car. When ownership of a vehicle is transferred the previous owner gets a refund on any outstanding road tax but that refund is calculated from the beginning of the next month. The new owner, on the other hand, has to tax the car anew and their bill is calculated from the beginning of the current month. What this means is that the government effectively collects two lots of tax on the car for the month where ownership is transferred, one from the new owner who pays for that month and one from the previous owner who doesn't get the tax for that month included in their refund. It's sneaky stuff and should give a useful boost to the exchequer, but at the expense of motorists.